Hello, I wanted to talk about the idea of nested functions and, and highlight the need for care regarding variables in using nested functions. I was motivated to prepare this tutorial because some of the students, especially those who have taken CAM 210, seem to be using this idea in the context of what they call driver functions. It's okay to do this, but you need to be extremely careful. Okay. So let's take the take an example that I have written here. This is a function show string. Okay, it's a very, very simple function. This is my main function. Okay. And within show string, I set up a variable a equals 10. And I'm printing the value of a. And I set up another variable. And I set up a, a string variable. And I call this function output c. Now, output c has been written within the function itself. It is nested within show string. Okay. And what the point of output, output string is, it's just going to take a string variable and print it, okay? But notice something peculiar, okay? So display string, so I'm passing the variable C, which is hello to output string. So I expect this function to display the string, but also I am calling, up, calling on variables A and B, okay? But I'm not explicitly passing A and B to this function. And uh, I'm also making some changes to the variables. Okay, so ideally, in 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 when we have discussed the idea of functions and and uh, the scope of variables being local to the function, okay, this uh, we expect we expect function output to not even have access to variables a and b, but MATLAB doesn't complain. Okay, MATLAB is not complaining. In fact, MATLAB has done something interesting for us. It has co colored the variables a and b. In a teal color, okay. If you and you, if you hover over it, MATLAB will say the scope of variable B spans multiple functions, and similarly, the scope of variable A spans multiple functions. So now let's try to run this code. Okay. Um, if I run this code, what happens is the following. So on, in from the main function, okay. I print the old value of a, which is the old value of a. Then I go into the into the the function. Then I make a function call output c, and output and this function displays the string. But I also it also displays this product because I'm asking it to display the product, and it displays the product of a and b. So in fact, the variables a and b were already available to the nested function, and in fact, I can also change the value of a. And when I come back to the main function, the value of a has changed. Okay. Essentially, what you have done is within a nested function, if you have, if you are not careful with how you define the, the values of variables, you can you can end up changing the values of those variables. Okay. So this is the this is an aspect of uh, nested functions that is sort of dangerous. Okay. One way to fix it, and in fact, this is a problem. If you have uh, if you have counters, okay, as as an as an example where you have nested uh, nesting functions within for loops, okay. So let's see how we can fix this. One way to do this is to write this as a separate function, okay. We can cut it and and create a new function. Okay. And now I can save it. And MATLAB will save it as output, fine. But look at this, MATLAB is already complaining to us about A and B because A and B is not even available. Let, now let's try to run function show string. It should give us an error, okay? Because within show string, within output, within the output function, which is not, now not nested, I don't have values A and B available to me, okay? So this is, in fact, I prefer I prefer functions written in this way because this is this helps hide value, hide variables. You want to keep the scope of variables local. If you do go ahead and use nested functions, if you do go ahead and do something like this, maybe a better way to do it is to either pass the values of A and B explicitly. And so you protect yourself by not having the same variables appear in both functions okay and now you can still run it okay 
but now look at it the old value of a has not changed i have protected the old value of a okay so so this is something you need to be careful about math uh, if you go to the mathworks site okay if you go to mathworks and and uh, do a check on the uh, variable scope of variables i'll send a link to this uh, link to this page separately please go through go to this website and work through this example okay matlab actually does a very interesting job of showing how to understand this variable is this exam is this example and the problem here the way this function has been written the counting index i becomes shared between two between the main function and the nested function and in fact this is the reason for the cause of troubles in executing this code okay so take a look at that and uh, i'll prepare a tutorial on on other functions later on thank you